Hello, GOTC family. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about trinket crafting. It's different from the other types of crafting. Um, and there's a couple of reasons why it's different. Um, first of all, in your average crafting, if you're making a helmet, you could destroy a level 1 to make a level 5. Um, you could destroy a level 5 of any type of gear um, to make a level 10. It doesn't even have to be a helmet. It can be anything that's level 1 to make a 5, anything that's a 5 to make a 10, and so on. So um, you can destroy virtually any chest piece, pants, boots, ring, um, weapon to make a helmet. But in trinket crafting, it makes you work up the steps. You have to make a level 1 of that trinket to destroy to make a level 5 of that specific trinket to make a level 10 of that specific trinket. My aim for right now is I'm currently working on the livestock cleaver. As you can see, it has dra dragon feed um, bonuses as well as upgrade speed bonuses for the dragon and maester speed. So um, with this one, at this point, with the materials I currently have, um, it would be a, a little bit of a gamble here. Um, worst case scenario, 40% chance it would be exquisite, 20% chance of epic, and 40% legendary. Um, I'm trying to work that up right now. Another difference, um, because I definitely want the epic or legendary of this one, you can see on the stats um, that the epic and legendary definitely have a, a little bit of a step up from the exquisite. Um, so I really don't want to settle for exquisite on this one. Another thing that's different is typically when special pieces of gear come out um, that are part of the event gear and things like that, certain creatures, um, special event creatures, will drop the pieces that you need. So, um, right now the special event creatures are on the map are these, the sparrows, they're dropping the floral silk for the Tyrell gear. Um, but what's different about trinkets, it's, it's always the non event creatures while the event is active. Um, so it will be your, um, mercenary camps, um, bandit camps, the um, tribesmen, these big metal guys here, um, and the bears, things like that, non-event creatures. So um, you definitely want to try and attack the highest level that you can. Um, in this particular keep that I have, I can hit a level 29. Um, and when it hits it, you'll be able to see um, that it's rewarding the specific piece that I need, um, to make this livestock cleaver trinket. So those are the differences between your average crafting and crafting for trinkets. Um, it's, it's not a lot, but, um, it definitely has its own special points as far as, um, it's non-event creatures to make it. Um, so you'll see here with this kill um, that it dropped the livestock cleaver fragments, 320 of those here. Um, and right now I'm just hunting, hunting, hunting. Um, as soon as I hunt enough where I can go into crafting and look at my level 20 trinket, um, and bump this up to epic or legendary um, then I'll choose the epic or the legendary and I'll go ahead and just craft it um, when I do craft it I will destroy the level 15 livestock cleaver to make it so I hope that answers any questions you have about trinkets um, the only other thing is there's one trinket that's on here that you will not ever get from hunting creatures um and it's at the very very bottom if you scroll down you can start working it up um it is the vintner's goblet um and the vintner's goblet can only be made by doing expeditions this one um 
You can only make it doing expeditions in your maester's tower. Um, and as you see, it's for march speed and training capacity. Other than that, for all the other trinkets, you're going to have to hunt non-event creatures while the event is active that allows you to earn the, the type of special material you need to make it. So I hope that answers any questions or concerns you have about crafting trinkets at the smithy. Um, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to try and answer them for you. Mr. Ciota signing out.